Praise the Lord and good morning to all of you. I welcome you to the second season of our daily devotion, Daily Pearls. And the book that we have chosen to meditate upon every single day from this day forward is going to be a very interesting book. It's the book of James. I'm going to read to you verse 1 of the book of James chapter 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, greetings. Now today I'm just going to lay down the foundation and would like to share with you a few things about the life of Apostle James. Some of this truth might be very surprising for you to hear, but these truths are based on the facts on the historical books of the Jewish faith and belief as well. And also these are part of the history that are available to give us the truth about the lives of the apostles. Now James is the half-brother of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was a son born to Mary and Joseph. Even though some of the denomination have a problem to receive that, but if you go through the historical truth, this has been very clearly made known to us. It is also said that James never recognized Jesus as the Messiah, as a son of the living God, because he could see him in the house every day. And he saw Jesus in the carpentry shop for 18 years. And suddenly his half brother is the savior of the world. That's something James was not able to comprehend with his understanding. So he had major struggles in believing that Jesus is the son of the living God. So when Jesus was alive and when Jesus ministered, James could not come to terms with accepting that his half brother is the savior of this world. But when Jesus died on the cross of Calvary and James could witness what the Father did through the crucifixion of Jesus upon the cross, James realized and his eyes were opened to the revelation and the truth that his half-brother was actually the Messiah, the Savior of the world. What an amazing story and truth that is in the Word of God, we are able to see few things that James speaks, but we don't have everything in the epistle. But these are also truths based on the facts available with Judaistic history about the apostles. So now when Jesus died on the cross, and when James realizes, when his eyes was opened to know that his half-brother is the Messiah, he felt so terrible on the inside that he said, I'm never going to eat. And he decided not to eat. And he thought he's going to die of hunger to punish himself for not recognizing his own half-brother as the Messiah, the Savior of this world. Praise and thank God that Jesus rose on the third day. Because Jesus rose on the third day there was hope not only for the people of the world, for his own half-brother, James, who was happy to see Jesus come alive. And maybe that is why James felt so unworthy to call himself the brother of the Lord Jesus Christ. Instead, he says, a servant, a slave of God, and of the Lord Jesus Christ. What an amazing testimony that we can see from the life of James. Now in this epistle, James clarifies what genuine faith is like and what genuine faith produces in the life of those who have true faith in their life. And as we go on from this day forward, we are going to study this exciting book and I want to welcome you this morning to join together with me with this journey and also invite your friends 
who wants to know more about the word of god friends who are hungry to study the holy bible invite them by sharing this link and inviting them to be part of this new series that we are beginning today may the lord bless us as we continue with this new series let us pray heavenly father we are so thankful to you for this wonderful day and this new season of daily pearls daily devotion and i'm so thankful to you father for the precious people who have been praying for me and longing to start this study today in the presence of almighty god and what an amazing book god that you have given to us to study and father in the name of jesus we pray that this book will do what you intend to do in our life so that we can see the father the son and the holy spirit through the book of james like we have never seen before so father i pray for a deeper revelation about yourself through the book of james open our eyes of understanding open our heart to receiving the word of god and i pray for all my dear brothers and sisters who have been eagerly waiting for this daily devotion to begin i pray a blessing over their lives protect them and bless them and through this journey that we all together will grow in our faith and in our walk with the lord jesus christ thank you for this day lord i pray for anybody celebrating their birthdays today may a blessing rest upon them in a special way may the power of the holy spirit fill their hearts and their lives so that they they can walk close to you and they can walk in your ways honoring you lord we give you glory honor and praise father lead this day according to your will we place the month of november into your hands we pray that the hand of almighty god will lead us thank you for leading us so wonderfully in the past months and thank you for bringing us into this brand new month as we study the word of god lord may your presence bring us closer to your heart and lead us closer to you father that we will experience god in our lives give you glory honor and praise in jesus name we pray and all god's people said amen and amen god bless you friends have a wonderful day and we are going to continue our journey from tomorrow onwards may the lord's presence be with you See you again tomorrow. Goodbye.